Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And as I get older, I lose my patience faster with stuck fasteners. And one of the things I'm going to do is um, grab this a lot more. This one's a, this is a Koken Attack driver. Basically, it is a very heavy, very nice looking screwdriver that if you uh, hit or strike on the back side of it. It actually causes a rotation on the front side to hopefully break free any loose fasteners. Um, it's kind of like a manual impact wrench, so a lot of times, you know, I'm quick to grab something like this, but it'd be nice to just have a uh, kind of a simple manual version, maybe even one with a little bit more feel as to what's actually happening with the um, with the fastener. I've had these in the past. I had a no-name one that never really worked that well, got rid of it. This is an old Craftsman here, um, and this has a half-inch anvil. One of the problems is there's very, I mean, I'm actually rotating it from right to left with just a tiny little turn, but as you push, this has, this particular one with this half-inch anvil just has a very slight kind of a bend or a twist so it really doesn't apply, you can see right there, near as much as something like this does, where you can see that rotation. Or if I throw a, a socket on here, you know, there's quite a bit. So for smaller fasteners, especially slotted and um, Phillips or JIS, this is actually a nice, um, a nice medium between a regular screwdriver and some sort of a heavier impact. I had a snap-on one earlier where I actually lost the ball out of it and had it replaced. This is it, this is the PT, or PIT 120 or PIT 120. It's a good solid tool, doesn't turn near as much. Um, and I'm reversing it back and forth there. Although this uses a 3 8 an inch, inch anvil, it's actually really good for maybe heavier duty use, but it's a nice tool. Um, but I wanted something that also behaved a lot more like a traditional screwdriver if I wanted to use it as such. So there it is. So I've got a really nice heavy duty Coke and screwdriver. By the way, what do these cost? Um, I, th I think I paid $52 for this. Uh, you can get them um, in the $50 to $60 range. Uh, the snap-on is about $90. I don't know the Craftsman. I don't, not sure even how to price some of the Craftsman because I don't know where they're made, how to compare them. But um, so basically, at about two thirds of this price of the um, the snap-on, you can get a um, a good Koken made in Japan. It comes in this case here. It's a metal case, uh, Koken Attack Driver, the AN three one eight A comes with four bits. These are five sixteenths inch bits. You can buy sets of these things. It's a common bit size, but it has number three, number two, and then two different size slotted as well. And it all fits in here, plus the uh, driving head. Um, but I can easily throw any socket on there as well. What I'm after with these is to be able to, you know, I look, I look at it as, as my tourniquet for stuck fasteners where I want to grab something that basically, you know, escalates it up pretty fast. I'm not going to start out twisting till my wrist hurts, grab a bigger screwdriver, maybe grab a T-handle, grab a ratchet. Instead, if I sense it, you know, I grab my, my bit driver and I sense that that's a pretty tough fastener, I'm going to go right to the top, grab something like this, line it up, you know, give it a couple of whacks and see if I can straighten out that fastener. Uh, you know, adjust its attitude pretty quick. I'm not going to spend a lot of time, you know, tweaking it anymore on my arms or like my wrists. Um, let me know if you've got any experience with these things. Um, I have used them mostly, you know, as like a last ditch effort for the, um, you know, stuck bolts and nuts. Uh, however, I hadn't really thought much about it of just using it, you know, as a first line defense right away when I run into a, you know, a, a a little bit of a stuck fastener. So that's why I'm calling it the tourniquet now. Um, instead of waiting until, you know, my fastener is, is all beat up and I've, you know, ruined a screwdriver and my wrist hurts, and then I finally go to this, I'm just going to go to this right away and see. Um, as long as I can get a good fit and I'm not getting any real, you know, scuffing on the uh, fastener head, 
um, this might be the ticket. So I'll just drop it on. Um, will I ever use it without even testing the fastener? I don't know. As a screwdriver, it'd be pretty easy to do. So that might happen. Maybe this will be my, you know, the tool I pull out of the box when I see a screw or something that I think, you know, is going to take some effort. But anyway, there it is. Let me know your experience with these guys. Um, if you've got one of these attack drivers, what do you think of it? So far, the more I use it, the more I think this is great. Um, I've been using it a little lightly with my plastic handle, uh, plastic hammer. You know, pretty soon I might go to a, a metal one just to get a little bit sharper snap, sharper pop direct in, into the uh, fastener head. But that's where I'm at now. And with that, dock out.